Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a massive amount of money with SEO. So for every 10 people searching online, nine of them are using Google, and $5 trillion of online transactions are happening every year, and it usually typically starts with a search. So it pays huge. Sometimes they say huge. To do SEO right, and in this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. But before we get started, I wanna invite you to watch my free masterclass. It covers how I make $400,000 a month with my online business. Click the link in the description below, sign up for that free training, and let's get into the topic for today. So looking back, the first website was published in 1991. So after that, Silicon Valley entrepreneurs started building these web directories, which served as online libraries that organized content. So we know Yahoo launched in 1994. This was the first directory everyday people used to search on the internet. But developers got frustrated because there was no real good organization for these libraries. So what was called on-page importance criteria was created to determine what people were actually searching for. So by 2000, Google had been working on its own algorithm that ranked sites based on both on-page and off-page factors. So the algorithm looked at the content on the page itself as well as how many links were pointing to the root domain name and the pages so then it would decide what was relevant based on the anchor text used in these links and this was the birth basically of modern SEO now over the last 20 years Google has updated their algorithm thousands of times to make search results as accurate as possible it uses teams it uses machine learning now to do this Google needs to understand and determine what content is worthy of ranking in the number one spot in this info this algorithm is pretty much top secret but there are two main factors you have to follow if you want to rank content on Google and make money so these are known as off-page and on page SEO. So both of these are equally important and you should work on them equally and you need to know what to do to get started. So when you start out with a brand new website and a brand new domain name, you have zero authority. Zero. Google doesn't know you exist. No one's linking to you. No one cares. That's because you really have no written content yet. No one's linking to your website. So getting backlinks is actually the most important thing you can focus on because backlinks are like currency on the internet. They tell Google that your site's an authority for the terms that you're targeting. Now domain rating is an href metric and it's based on a scale from zero to 100 to determine your site's authority. So this ranking is purely based on backlinks to your site. So the more links you get, the higher your DR will be but you don't want just any links from any site because the quality of these links matter. So for example, when you start out, you have a DR of zero. So smaller blogs that are getting traffic will have DRs of like 30 to 50. Really popular blogs can be in the 70s and 80s and then even bigger companies in the 80s and 90s like you know YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Google, Shopify, Forbes. So you wanna focus on getting links from top tier sites in your niche because they have the authority. And when they link to your site, your authority goes up. But you can't just reach out to these site owners and expect them to link to you. You have nothing to offer them in return yet. So this is where creating quality content comes into play and what's known as on-page SEO. So I've covered a lot of videos on my channel on on-page SEO and how to rank for keywords. You can check out those videos as well. But you wanna pick a niche that you can quickly write at least 10 to 12 articles about and start ranking for. So the best way to structure your content is to think through the eyes of the person typing in your target keyword. So Google uses this AI and machine learning to figure out which pages are best and then ranks the pages based on the authority of that content and what words are on the page. So let's take the keyword guest blogging. Right now I rank in the seventh position for this keyword on Google, so I get a decent amount of traffic to this article. So you always wanna run your target keyword in the URL after the .com, directly after that. And that keyword needs to be on the page in the following places. So your H1 title, some of the content in the first paragraph, in multiple subheadings where it makes sense, and throughout the rest of your body content. So you don't wanna overdo it by stuffing the keyword in as, uh, the article as many places as possible, because Google typically notices that and can penalize you. Plus it provides a terrible user experience. You can't read something that just stuffs keywords in there. So in all my articles, you'll see that I write for a person first and use these SEO strategies second to get it to rank. Now, once you have these 10 keyword ideas, you start creating content and publishing as fast as you can. So writing 10 articles in a niche is a good starting point, but I have a content assembly line method that you can learn in the masterclass, so link below. Now, once you have your content ready, it's time to think about backlinks again. So the best approach starting is to write guest posts. So what you'll want to do is find some other sites in your niche that are more established than yours, they have a higher DR, then figure out how you can add some value to their readers by either writing for their blog, doing link trades, building relationships. Maybe you can promote their brand on your blog. You got to find these opportunities. So in 2019, I challenged myself to do guest blogging for 15 days. I went through my entire guest blogging strategy. I ended up with like eight guest posts in that couple week window. But you can watch my video on guest blogging to see how I got 81 guest posts in my first year. So this is what it takes to rank in competitive niches. You need links. So getting these backlinks gets Google to trust you. And then shortly thereafter, I saw my own domain rating and uh, improve by like 12 points. I had 268 new organic keywords ranking in the top 100 and I saw a 372% increase in organic traffic just in this two-week strategy. 
So after you've created some content and you're getting links to your articles, uh, this is basically just the starting point. So to grow your organic traffic, you have to keep this process going, creating more content and getting more high quality backlinks. So what I like to do is monitor my rankings with a tool like Ahrefs to see where I'm ranking for certain keywords on Google. So this way I can be strategic and work on specific pages to get them ranking higher. So that usually means adding more content, getting more backlinks to that page. As you continue doing this, you learn about other profitable opportunities in your niche that you can rank for. So if you see an article ranking on page three or page two, maybe you look at the URL ratings of those and see, okay, I need to add some more links to this page. Maybe I'll reach out to that company or reach out to that relationship that I have and work on getting backlinks first. So SEO is not overly complicated. Yeah, you see articles about like 200 ranking factors, but really it's just two, on page and off page. But it's very nuanced. And when you do it with the right strategy and a lot of effort, it can turn into a passive income generating machine. So sure, you start small, but eventually those 10 articles turn into 20, then 50, then 100. And then you'll get a site getting tens of thousands of visitors, hundreds of thousands of visitors every single month. So from here, your progress starts to snowball. So with enough traffic and authority, you start generating revenue through affiliate marketing, ads, your own digital products, even consulting with others in your niche. Then you have real sales that you can leverage. You can make sales for other brands. You can trade links and you become a real force. So this is how I built my content driven business that now earns me $400,000 a month. And it just started about three and a half years ago in 2019. And this is the way forward if you want to make big money with SEO on page, off page, and then the business engine behind it. So if you want to learn more about how I do SEO, how I do affiliate marketing, exact, the exact strategy, make sure to watch my free masterclass. Thousands of students have gone through it. So click the link in the description below. Sign up for that. Let me know what you think. You know, I went over a little bit of the brief history of SEO on page and off page, the things you have to do. This is all email focused, you know, driven outreach approach, but you can do it. It's not that difficult. So let me know what you think. Please like the video and I will see you in the next video.